This is day two of the Mercedes project and I just got to the Mercedes. I'm gonna put this inline fuel filter on because the old one was clogged up and then I'm gonna go for a long test drive. So let's, let's get started. All right, we just checked the oil on it. I'm going to look for some brake fluid because it is below the max line and kind of above the min line. And then we are going to inflate the tires, put the fuel filter in, put the doghouse back on, start it up, go for a test drive. So I've got the old filter off. This is the old one. I like how clear this one is. And this one is the new one. So swap these out. I will keep this one. I will try to clean this one out and we'll put that one on Mercedes. This is gonna be a cold start of the diesel. Let's see how everything works. Runs pretty good. As you can see from the cloud of smoke, it's running. I've got the compressor going right now. I'm gonna inflate the tires, like I said. Uh, it's running good. I had a little mishap where I turned the idle all the way up and then once it warmed up, it started revving at 2000. So I had a run turning that down. But other than that, hopefully the filter does not clog fast and I can drive it. I'm gonna look for brake fluid because I think I need some. All right, I cleaned out this filter the best I'm gonna get it just by blowing and cleaning out with water. I've got uh, my jackery, my jumper pack, some tools, the diesel's running. Uh, it still smokes a little bit, but typical. I put some of that treatment in there to eat up some of the bacteria in the tank. We're at three quarters of a tank. I need to run this down or siphon it. My idea was to siphon it and then just like maybe filter it and put it back in or just siphon it completely, get rid of it and then put fresh diesel in. But my problem is I don't have a way to siphon it and hold it and transport the old diesel. So what I'm gonna do is just run it and change the filter because it's got two filters. It's got a screw on filter and an inline filter. This is the primary filter. All the gunk gets caught up in this. And then the secondary filter is a fine filter, which we're just gonna, I just noticed some fuses are missing. But, so my idea is just to run it, clog it up, kill it, change the filter, keep doing that, and then wait until we can put some fresh diesel in. All right, they got my wallet, my keys. This is the old, the original fuel filter, if you wanna see how gross that gets. Disgusting. Uh, the other one's probably black now. Got my idle controller. It's good, doghouse is on, won't get so hot in there. This is it. We're gonna go for a ride, go for a drive, and uh, burn down some of this fuel. We're at three quarters of a tank. First gear. All right, I've gotta document this. So, uh, it's actually really quiet right now. I'm sure you can tell from the last video. And I got it up to like 45, 50 really easily. It's driving great right now. As you can see, I'm not driving. Uh, the van broke down. I made it pretty far though. It was running really good. Um, I'm gonna have to put the other filter on or blow out the other filter. <sighs> not a big deal. I mean, it's nice. It's fun being broke down. Let's see if we can get started though. We got it started, no problem. It's so reliable, so reliable. Let's go back. So this is what it's driving like right now. All right, I'm using maps. I'll see you guys in a bit. It happened again. We broke down. Uh, not a problem. Like always, oh, never a problem. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit for a second. It ran out of fuel, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I do know. It's bad fuel. I need to change the fuel. It runs great though. It runs really good. No, almost. It almost runs great. Where can I dump the fuel? That is the mission today, is to dump the fuel, because if I dump the fuel, then I guarantee I can drive this longer. All right, this is the starting procedure for when I run out of fuel or the car dies on me. Key off. I take the idle switch, and I turn this all the way up. I'll turn that up, and then in neutral, turn it on. Glow plugs, good. It died. That is a power issue. That shouldn't be it.
not good. That's not good. All right, I just siphoned some of that sludge out. <coughs> Time to crawl back under. Ow! I've changed the filter. I didn't change the filter. I blew the filter out. It looks clean. Um, neutral. Sounds really good. All right, don't mind me. I'm not gonna record this. I need to get back. Okay, so I went to look for dot four brake fluid at this store here. Uh, they didn't have dot four, so they just had dot three. Didn't buy it. I'm gonna go take some back roads for like an hour, probably longer. Drive this thing around, burn through some fuel. We're below three quarters of a tank now. Let's, uh, hopefully we can, hopefully we can fill up the fuel tank and get some of this nasty fuel out. I put some fuel treatment in there. I had some like Octane Booster, Winter degeller, de or whatever. Uh, for like two years ago or a year ago when it was winter time and I was trying to start this it didn't start and then I put the rest of the Bacterial eating fuel treatment in here. I don't know what it is. I'll show you guys later, but put treatment in it's running great right now It's idling great Now I just need to go up some hills do all the fun stuff and then we'll see if we can get it started If we stall we will break down. I'll keep you guys posted when we break down I won't show too much of the driving because I need my maps. I am so happy right now. Like this is so much fun to drive Manual, going up hills. I'm going 50 miles an hour right now. Uh, this is amazing. Got it up to 60. What? And I'm just letting passing cars. Uh, not, I'm not passing cars, but cars are passing me. This is amazing. I'm so happy. Guess what? I got my hazards on again. I almost made it to my destination. I just need to blow out that fuel filter again. Um, let's go. All right. I am parked, don't know what to do, probably burn more fuel. Uh, I'm debating whether or not to climb underneath the Mercedes right now to blow out the fuel filter because it's been a while since I last blew it out. I probably should, but I don't want to. Um, tough call. So this is what I've been doing. I've been crawling under the van and looking for the inline fuel filter, which is up there somewhere and taking it off with this knife screwdriver blowing it out and then running the van again so i'm gonna do that right now because i don't want to push my luck it's not stalling or anything like that right now oh that belt that looks fine a little dry maybe there's conditioner for belts probably uh anyways i'm gonna take the filter off blow it out because i don't want to push my luck and this is what i this is how i do it so Let's see if we can get a camera angle. All right, find the filter, take it off. Bought some wiper blades for it. So I thought that was kind of cool. I used my phone to find out the size of the wiper blades and then I am going to put these on. They were the only 20 inch ones, I believe, 20 inch, CH20, I'm assuming. Uh, 12 bucks. Ocean State. Look at how gross those are. Pretty gnarly. So these will be so much better and it's about to rain. So perfect timing. All right, we got new wiper blades on. Those should work all right. So I think I'm gonna organize some of this stuff. That's garbage at this point. But I have some carpet cleaner, steam cleaner stuff. I can organize that. Man, that is just so pretty. So I also bought lights. These are not the right type. I needed uh, five watts, found eight watts. Hopefully those work. I'm gonna put those in the tail light. We got tail lights. Tested it out. One tail light, two tail lights. Sweet. All right, back in the van. It is raining out now. I've got tail lights. Uh, the lights are on. Cool. Turn those lights on and let's start up the van. Starts pretty good. Turn up the idle a little bit. Now we got to drive back. 50 miles an hour. It is currently getting dark the headlights are not that great the fuel pump 
not the pump, but the fuel filter is still a little sluggish. It's got some buildup. We are at half a tank now. I just stopped in town, had some drinks and food, and now I am going to drive like an hour and a half to park this for the night. And then I gotta work tomorrow. So that is the end of the day for the Mercedes. And now it's getting dark, so we're gonna see how this drives at night. Probably break down a few times, hopefully not. Uh, but I am going to start driving. It's at half a tank now, which is awesome. I just tested some lights back there. They work, which is nice. So let's go. So as you can hear, it's raining right now. I just got the van back to where I started today. I put about 100 miles on this van today. It was at three quarters of a tank. I brought it down to half a tank. I don't know how many times I broke down today. <coughs> Consumed a lot of diesel. Uh, it's It's been a long day. Overall, I'm really happy with how it's been driving, other than the fact that it's been breaking down, but that's just fuel related. Everything else is doing fine. I know I'm gonna have to replace the tires soon, which is unfortunate because that's gonna be a huge chunk of change. First is fuel. I gotta fix the fuel issue. I gotta clean the tank somehow. I broke down in the rain. You can see this is dry, this is drenched. I was underneath the van for a little bit, taking the filter off, doing the whole routine. Uh, I got pretty good at it. I'm not bad at just taking it off and getting it running again. But it runs. That is the most important thing is every time it breaks down, I can get it running. Is it convenient that it breaks down? No, but I get it running every time. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna call it a day for now and we'll get back to this van soon. Probably call out of work tomorrow and maybe pick up where I left off today. I don't know. It's been a long day. I need to go shower and just recharge. All right, peace.